Hey everyone, it's Chris and Jamie from Steeda. Another tech talk today covering wheels and tires. Exactly what all these numbers mean and how to interpret them so you can select the best wheel and tire package for your Mustang. So Jamie, let's kick it off with wheels. This one here is a 19 by 10 Trident we sell here at Steeda. So explain exactly what that 19 means and what that 10 means. The 19 is the diameter of the wheel where the tire actually mounts, which would be this surface from here to here is 19 inches. The width is 10, so in between the, the wheel rim. And that's the basic measurement of a wheel. But you also have something that's called offset. And the offset is the depth from the center pad of the wheel in relation to how wide the wheel is. So it's a very important number to know when you're buying wheels for your Mustang because choosing the wrong offset wheel can be the difference between the tire sticking out too far or rubbing against the strut. I mean, there's all kinds of problems that you can get into with that. This particular wheel is a 37 millimeter offset. So that means from the center line of the wheel to the mounting surface of where that wheel mounts the car is 37 millimeters of positive offset. Now, Jamie, do you mind explaining what the difference is between positive and negative offset? A positive offset wheel means that the center pad that the, where the wheel mounts to the face of the rotor itself is more towards the outside of the wheel. A negative offset wheel, that pad will be more towards the inside of it, making the wheel stick further out from the car. Offsets can be kind of funky in terms of exactly how to interpret them in relation to the width of the wheel itself, but late model Mustangs kind of, there really are only a few different types of offsets to have that flush fitment or slightly aggressive fitment that you would be looking for when you're picking a set of wheels for your vehicle. So when you're looking through our website at different wheel options for your Mustang, um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. But for example, this particular wheel and tire package, 19 by 10 on the front, 19 by 11 in the rear, we've selected offsets that give you the most performance uh, without sacrificing um, fitment or uh, any ride quality or anything like that. Yeah, they're, they're selected to have the proper offsets so you don't have clearance problems. Another thing to keep in mind is when you are talking about offsets, the offset from the front of the car to the rear of the car is different. So in a lot of cases, you may be able to run this 19 by 10, you can run this 19 by 10 with a 37 millimeter positive all the way around an S550 and everything would be fine. But if you were to run uh, what the 51, 51 offset of a 19 by 11 in the front, you would need a spacer to compensate for that difference in offset. Yeah, it would, it would take a three quarter inch uh, spacer to be able to compensate for that much offset. Now moving on to tires here, this NT555 G2 tire from Nitto, this is kind of our go-to summer tire we offer with a lot of our wheel and tire packages. To break down the size of this tire, it's a 275 35ZR20 tire. The 275 stands for 275 millimeters, which is the width of the contact patch on the tire. The 35 stands for aspect ratio, which is the percentage of the width that of the sidewall. So what that means is the 35, it's 35% 35 of 275 millimeters, which means the sidewall height is actually relative to the width of the tire. Now the ZR stands for the speed rating and I believe load rating, correct? Yeah the load rating of the tire, and then the 20 is for the diameter of the wheel that this tire is designed to fit. Now, in addition to the tire sizes, one thing you wanna make sure you look out for whenever you're buying new tires is to just do a quick check after you get your new tires of when the tires themselves were manufactured. And you can find that date code on any tire. It's standardized right next to the DOT code. So if you look on the sidewall of the tire, go all the way around, you will find the DOT code. Every tire has this in the United States. And right next to it, you'll see a series of four numbers. In this particular case, it's 5121, which means the 51st week of 2021 is when this G2 was actually manufactured. Now on the tire, in addition to the date code and actual size of the tire, you can also see the tread wear rating. The G2s are a 320 tread wear rating. So Jamie, do you mind explaining exactly what tread wear is and why it's important? 
uh, the Treadwear rating is uh, a code that lets you know roughly how long that tire should last. The higher the number, the longer the tire should last. Manufacturers usually advertise that for a given tread wear rating, the tire should last a certain amount of miles. But the lower that number goes, the more aggressive the tire compound, the less life you're going to get. You're gonna pay for that extra grip you get for the lower tread wear rating by tire life. And to give you an idea, the higher the tread wear rating, like Jimmy was saying, you're gonna have a harder compound. This is typically found around 500 in all season tires. Can go much higher than that as well. You move your way down to a 320. This is an extreme performance summer tire. So you're gonna have a little bit more performance, may not last as long as an all season tire, but again, you kind of get the best of all worlds on a summer dedicated tire. Then moving on to 200 tread wear and 100 tread wear, you get into more competition use. They may still be street legal, but you can, may only expect to see 10 or 15,000 miles out of those tires. At you know, the 10 or 15,000 miles depends on how you drive and you know alignment and everything else with your car, but the lower the tread wear, the less time it's gonna last. So with that said, let us know if you have any questions. Wheels and tires can be kind of confusing, especially if you're going to be picking them up for the first time. Um, but don't hesitate to reach out to us because we're happy to help. These Trident wheels look awesome, whether they're on a street setup or a track setup for your Mustang. So again, reach out to us, we're happy to help. Comment below, like I said, hit that like and subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing. Speed matters.